Hello YouTubers. I have something to show you here. I'm going to show you guys my uh, my medical kit. Uh, one of my smaller ones. It's actually a little bit of a combo kit. It's uh, half survival and half medical. It's designed to be uh, ultra as light as I can be. I'm a practicing paramedic and uh, at my level I can carry a few extra things. Uh, in this kit I have everything that I find would be absolutely essential in the back country if we were one to two days away from a hospital. Also, uh, it contains everything needed uh, for most emergency situations. Um, just the minimalist equipment, enough to uh, get the person stabilized and get help. So basically, uh, I picked up this uh, bag here at uh, Mount Equipment Co-op, which is our uh, equivalent to the state's REI. It's only about seven dollars, it's a fairly small bag. On here, I have a little label. It just says day climbing for the chief and med and survival. So it has both in it. And uh, basically that's just, uh, we use it for rock climbing so it comes up uh, all the crags with us. So inside, I'm going to go through the contents here. We got a one size of nasal airway with some lube, and it's a 30 French. As you can see, it's quite packed. And the reason for that is there's, uh, you know, limited space. It's quite tight. A pair of gloves. CPR pocket face shield. Nice, skinny, and compact. This here is a Vanillin nebulizer. If I happen to come across somebody on the trail who's short of breath, having an asthmatic attack, be able to help them. A little bit of uh, wound glue. Derma bond. Some epinephrine for anaphylaxis. A little pair of EMT scissors. That is a sub Q needle end. A pair of uh, very fine point uh, forceps. A 1cc syringe for sub Q injection. Some swabs, just some cotton swabs, cotton applicators. Red bag, garbage, puke, whatever, all sorts of uses. Safety pins. So uh, on this side, I got this bag here. Now this bag is essentially minor wound supplies, adhesive dressings of different sizes, different types. There's a Telfa dressing in here, which is non-stick gauze, uh, sterile, uh, 4x4s, uh, stary strips of assorted sizes, and there's also a pack of uh, sutures, just one, pa one suture pack for uh, being way out there. In the bottom here, uh, windproof, stormproof matches, a little bit of flagging tape, some uh, water purification tablets, good for a liter each, a wet fire, fire starter, Bag of uh, cotton swabs, uh, smothered in Vaseline for fire starter. It's a two-person uh, wrap shelter with a space blanket on the inside, waterproofness on the outside. Basically, the bivy 
the baby bag. Uh, drinking straw for being on a cliffside when all you have is little small moss trickles of water and not big puddles so you can drink it. Also doubles for uh, helping you uh, get coals going in the fire. Miniature sewing setup curved needles. Um, upholstery thread so it's extra strong. Here I basically have paper clip and a boat and a twist tie. Now these are for repairing the wires on my spring loaded camming devices which are a piece of rock climbing protection. And sometimes they break and if they break they can ruin your trip. You can fix them with that. Here we have a little potassium permanganate which uh, if you look it up has several different uses and I believe it's uh, included in the SS survival guide so anybody with that book will be able to check out what that does got a little xylocaine uh, for uh, the sutures just a little local anesthetic this here is a nebu is a nebula of saline for irrigation just a small uh, surgical blade scalpel blade Splinter outs. It's basically a sterile needle for splinter picking. And the big guns. Fentanyl patch. Yes, I have a prescription for it. And it is for emergencies only, major fractures in the backcountry, awaiting a long, arduous evacuation. Gastrolite uh, for. Uh, Bad diarrhea. A few swabs for sterilizing instruments. Emergency for dehydration. Also gives you additional energy. Something for a burn, minor burn from the stove. Common backpacking injury. A little emodium. Well, these are just some of those uh, little tablets that uh, turn into a cloth when they get wet. This is the Benadryl that goes along with the Epi for the anaphylaxis. These are the melt on your tongue type. I believe they're 12.5 milligrams each. You need four of them for an adult. Modium. Another one. Got a little bit of gravel for uh, helping with nausea and vomiting. Also, uh, oral gravel. And uh, yes, there's a prescription for that. IV Benadryl. I am Benadryl. Sub Q Benadryl. Doesn't matter. As long as you get it in you. And here we have some ranitidine, which is for stomach. We have some Tylenol, extra strength. We've got some ibuprofen. And it looks like there's even one or two T3s in there. Alright. This here is like a tensor dressing or an elastic wrap. But it's also sticky on one side. It's great for wrapping sprained ankles and walking out on them. I've used it myself with badly sprained ankles. I hike out. It adds lots of compression to a swollen joint, which will reduce the pain. It can also be used as tape. It can be used uh, basically for several things. So I keep it because it's very, very valuable and has very multiple uses for different types of injuries. Triangular bandage, a sling basically. You can't go anywhere without a sling. Yeah, you can improvise it, make it out of a belt or tape or whatever the hell you want. But this is quick. With this I can also make a tight bandana which is great for head wounds, holding gauze on the head. Um, I can make a 
compression bandage with it with uh, the included ABD pad which is basically a blood soaker it's an 8 inch by 10 inch keep one of those basically as a dressing for major bleeds and a sterile roll of gauze, just a crepe roller which I could also stuff in an oddly shaped deep arterial wound which would en enhance the, the stopping of the bleed and um, and the reason for that is that's sterile I don't I don't carry one that's non-sterile although those, those are the most common that I use because this one is designed also to be stuffed if need be, which I've never had to do before. And the ABD, I've never encountered a bad bleed that I couldn't control with an ABD, and that's why I don't carry any uh, hemostatic clotting dressings. Um, they're great for gunshots and stab wounds. They're great for the military, they're great for a tactical environment, but for hiking and rock climbing and skiing, that's about all you need. You might be wondering where the whistle is, where the compass is, where the knife is. I hang a whistle and a compass on my packs. Slot as well as a little LED light. And the headlamp is in the pack. Carry a, there's a knife on me climbing and on me hiking. Carry my fixed blade, carry my folder. And uh, if there's anything I haven't mentioned, I probably have it. If I don't, and you suggest it, then that's great. Alright? That's my first aid kit. My ultralight one. The one I carry hiking, climbing, skiing. See you guys later.